hello hi i'm karma the group leader of karma's group and we are a group of three members and if i briefly introduce my group members uh, mr sang kundang delma and Sun chakral so our group have um, has decided to make a presentation and to do an assignment on the leadership development program that is being implemented in one of the organization in bhutan so RCC, Royal Civil Commission, is the agency that our group members have selected. To briefly uh, present about the outline of our presentation. So first we have a background uh, followed by the problem statement and issues, objectives and scope, methodology, findings and analysis and action plan. So I'll be doing on the briefly presenting the background of our uh, presentation and the problem statement and issues objectives will be covered by Mr. Sang Yong Di. Scope and methodology will be covered by Ms. Kunzang and finding and analysis and action plan will be covered by Mr. Srin Chofer. So to briefly uh, talk about our presentation background, leadership defined as uh, having direct influence over the people and why we see this is that leadership is one of the integral part of the organization where every success of the agencies depends on the leadership and it is a critical uh, <clears throat> area where for the organization's success as leadership is the person who leads by example who leads by their word and their action so in likewise royal civil commission has initiated and implemented a leadership development program for the managers in civil service rcc is central personal agency for a government which looks after all the civil servants and rcc has initiated this program since uh, early 2021 <clears throat> and why the rcc has uh, implemented this program is to meet the demand of effective leaders in a workplace which is influenced by the rapid change and improvements in economic, political, technological, and social issues. Leadership development programs are becoming more popular over the years. Thank you, and next presentation will be done by the Mr. Sangi uh, Wandi. Hi, I'm Sangi Wandi and one of the group members. Uh, my colleague uh, Karma Wandi has introduced the topic, which is on leadership development program of the Royal Civil Service Commission and also he has given a brief background on the topic. So now I will be presenting on the main issues of the problem statement that we have found on this topic and also I will be covering on the scope of these studies. Uh, when it comes to uh, issues or the problem for this uh, particular strategic case study, we have identified that uh, firstly what we have found out from the literature review is that despite increasing focus and importance given on the leadership development program, various literature reviews, uh, reviews suggest that there is a very limited studies being carried out on evaluation of leadership development program to assess its uh, effectiveness and positive change for the organization. And similarly, uh, the ongoing leadership development program of the Royal Civil Service Commission also have a very poor system of evaluation of the program to assess its uh, behavior change in the leaders for the benefit of organization. So these are the two main uh, issues that we have found out on this particular topic and in our subsequent studies we will be trying to we will be studying on the details on these issues and then give our recommendations in our final uh, report. So now when it comes when it comes to the scope of the uh, studies, uh, firstly it will cover the leadership development training conducted for a period of six months from February to till uh, July 2020 second by the Royal Civil Service Commission for Civil Servants holding the managerial and leadership positions in the civil service and secondly the participants for uh, participants for this case study will be the supervisors colleagues and the subordinates of the officials who have undergone the leadership development program during this specific period so this is the scope of our study 
and now in the subsequent uh, slide my colleague two of my colleagues will uh, present on the objective of the our study then the methodology then finding analysis and then the action plan for the report um, next uh, detailed report Hi, I'm Kusun Dolma and I'll be talking about the objectives and the methodologies for the develop leadership development programs. First, the objectives. Although the leadership trainings are given more importance, the studies shows that there are limited research conducted on a leadership development program. Hence, our objective is to do a comprehensive literature review on a leadership development programs like its objectives, its relevancy and effectiveness so as to streamline both the professional and organizational capabilities. These studies will also highlight the benefits of the leadership training programs and to present recommendations for the ongoing leadership training programs. Now, coming to the methodology we will be using in our uh, project is uh, we will be using a qualitative research methods such as focus group discussions, interviewing executives and co-workers to collect information and ideas uh, on the leadership development programs based on their organizations. And we will also conduct an, an online interview with the leadership development program participants themselves and do a comprehensive literature review on it. Now my friend Tung Chafel will continue with the presentation. Hi, I'm Chun Chofal. Uh, on the in recognition to the uh, the presentation made by our friends, uh, I have uh, I, my part is findings and analysis. A brief uh, investigation, uh, investigative uh, study on the uh, ongoing leadership development program of the Royal Civil Service Commission of Bhutan by our team uh, has found that. Uh, there is no proper system of uh, evolution of the leadership uh, development program. There is also a need for redesign of the leadership uh, development program. Uh, this finding uh, uh, is further supported by various literature review, uh, which reveals that many organizations heavily invested uh, in leaders, but they fail to recommend and uh, consider attributes that are significantly, significantly crucial to be an effective leader. This is as per the uh, study of uh, Finland and uh, Lin uh, conducted in 2001. Another study uh, also uh, conducted by Seveni and Zhao in 2018 uh, that argued uh, that uh, leadership training can be, uh, make a huge difference in preparing professional uh, professionals for career advancement and success in the leadership role. Uh, some studies also suggest that traditional approaches of the international leadership development programs such as uh, sending leaders to attend execu uh, executive uh, education programs and hiring personal coaches doesn't serve the purpose or the organization's uh, need anymore but empowering at the workplace does so uh, this is uh, as per i mean this is uh, uh, about uh, the findings and analysis if i talk about action plan based on the uh, based on this brief in investigative report of the leadership development program uh, our group will carry out a detailed study of the program to literature review and findings from uh, focus group discussion and interview and the team will uh, team shall provide suggestion for redesign and uh, make improvement of the future leadership development program and we will also implement a system of assessment and evaluation of the program and uh, yeah I, i'm i'm talking about action plan then uh, uh, the findings and the suggestions uh, uh, shall be shared with the primary stakeholders uh, including leadership training participants to solicit uh, the suggestions and feedbacks and to uh, take ownership of the uh, findings. So these are the, some of the references that we have 
your effort uh, during uh, during our study on this uh, report thank you very much for uh, patiently listening our group uh, group presentation